There was a time long ago, before our own, when ships had sails, and there were no such things as smartphones, microwave ovens, or the device on which you are watching this. It was a time when no ships were safe, least of all the crafts of the Royal Post Office. You think he's out there, Gabby? Out there and waiting for us, the scurviest bloke to ever sail these seas. Kevin Herman, sail ho! That sailcloth, it's the cat o' nine tails. He's coming, Captain Garfield. <laughs> Cattle Nine Tails roamed the seas, plundering galleons, its captain feared by all. Notorious Scalawag carved himself quite a name for preferring canned lasagna over gold. Ah, lasagna. And for his weapon of choice, custard pies. As we say in the pirate business, custard pied men tell no tales. <laughs> Yo ho ho, me hearties! No quarter! <laughs> Look! It's Captain Garfield's paid for sea dog! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? A ship, me captain. Trust and tide as you ordered, captain. Good job, me buckos. You know what dire fate awaits ye, don't ye? Oh, please, captain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> me work the fox. Tongue! <laughs> 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 Captain Garfield, I beg of you, spare me crew and spare me your meringue. What is it you want? You know what I want. Yes, yes I do. Take my cargo, all the lasagna in the hold. <laughs> it was a story as old as time. Whenever Captain Garfield boarded a craft, he left with its lasagna. Captain Garfield triumphs again. Yeah, he always does. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Garfield, for sparing me. Until next time. And there will be a next time, mate. Thank you for saving us, Cappy. Captain Garfield is a scourge. I'm surprised he didn't double cross you. He may be a black-hearted pirate of the seas, but he is a cat of honor. Sometimes. <laughs> and after every successful act of piracy, the captain and his crew would celebrate with a rousing sea shanty. We are pirates unsurpassed. Jolly Roger flies our mast. We see a ship and we strike. We board and take what we like. We are men you can't defeat. So surrender when we meet. Hand over anything that's good to eat. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. is how unmerry they were in the royal castle. News of the latest plunder enraged the queen, who promptly summoned the commodore of one of her royal flagships. The royal stocks of canned lasagna are dwindling at an alarming rate, commodore. Shocking, horrendous. You must put an end to the Corsair's reign of terror, Commodore Nomal. Seize the dread pirate Garfield and throw him in my dungeon. I'm on the job, Queenie Baby. I mean, your commands shall be carried out to the fullest, Your Majesty. Queenie Baby. 
Before the sun had set that day, Commodore Nermal was off in search of the blight known as Captain Garfield. He sailed the high seas. He sailed the low seas. For days, Commodore Nermal got hopelessly lost near either the North or South Pole. When you can, make a legal U-turn at the next iceberg. Never should have bought one of these things. Let us do this the easy way, mate. Locate a ship bearing lasagna, and we shall just follow it. A wise move, Commodore. A simple, obvious truth, my mate. Find the lasagna, and you find the overweight orange pussycat. Truer words were never spoken. And so it was that the next day on a familiar craft of the Royal Post Office... Do you expect the pirate Garfield to board us again, Cappy? Let me put it this way. Just thought I'd save time. Captain Herman! Sail ho! It's him again! I believe we all know how this works. <laughs> Thank ye, men. You're saving us a whole heap of time. Okay, just give me the lasagna and I'll be on my way. Not so fast, you thieving rapscallion. I'd be Commodore Nermal, captain of the Beauty Queen, and cutest kitten in the whole wide kingdom. Guards, seize them handsomely. <laughs> Hey, be careful with that thing, matey. It just might be a sword. <laughs> Tis way easier than I thought. And now... Be Commodore, you have something on your nose. Huh? I do? It'd be spoiling your appearance, it'd be. It'd be. <gasps> really? Would you hold that for me? I don't see any blemishes. <gasps> My sword! You tricked me. <laughs> uh, I'll hoist you over the yard arm, you orange-bellied slugger! <laughs> Oblivious to the dueling pair, a one-eyed evil was scrutinizing their every move, waiting for the right time to strike. Maneuver towards the ship. These two fools are so wrapped up in their catfight, they won't even notice us. <laughs> <laughs> In the heat of battle, both Captain Garfield and Commodore Nermal were taken aback as another ship collided with that of the Royal Postal Office. I... The Cuckoo? We meet again. What be ye doing here, ye two-faced vulture? Uh, doing what we do best, Captain Garfield. Stealing what was briefly yours. <laughs> Man! Oh, this won't be good. <laughs> Pirates just love to say, I. Hand me, you wretched scallywags! Hey, find yourself another oh, ship to plunder. I was here first. Shut up! You don't need these fools. Join me, and together we shall rule the seven seas. Hmm. Let me consider your offer for a moment. Nope. I'd rather be marooned on a desert island with basic cable and no pizza delivery. Funny you should mention that! Fair wins, you two! I vow I'll reclaim me ship and me hearties from your evil parrot clutches, Makuku. Well? It could be a lot worse. It doesn't get much worse than being marooned on a desert island with me on it. That's right. I'm with him. Hey, Makuku, come back. How about feeding me to the sharks instead? <sighs> 
Tis hardly the time to be writing your memoirs. I'm writing a letter to tell Her Royal Highness that vile, unkempt pirates have stranded me on a desert island with not but an old wooden bucket and you. Addled fool. We're thousands of leagues from the royal palace. There's no way that bot will reach its destination. Gracious, it's an urgent message for the Queen. Change of plans, guys. We're flying back to England. Meanwhile, back at the Royal Palace, the Queen was growing a tad impatient. Uh, uh, beans again. Uh. I shan't eat another can of beans. Oh, I'm afraid we've run out of lasagna, Your Majesty. Uh, listen, I could make you a nice quiche. Maybe a yummy order of shrimp A message toast. from Commodore Nermal, Your Highness. Captured by pirates, stranded on a desert island. Well, this is flat out intolerable. Here, crumple this for me. It has been crumpled, Your Highness. I shall take the matter into my own royal hands. Ready my royal vessel and pack a few swimming suits. Caribbean, here I come! This tree is dripping some kind of sticky white liquid. It's revolting. Whatever it is, it can't be as revolting as being stranded here with you. <gasps> Captain Garfield? We're not alone. I wish I was. No, no. There's someone else on this island. Your imagination is running away with you, Commodore Nermal. There's no one else. <gasps> Pirate Garfield and throw him in my dungeon. Guards, seize them! The cuckoo? Still on what was briefly yours. <laughs> Captain Garfield? We're not alone. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Huh? I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, it's all right. Um, do you have any food on you? Wait. I know you. Huh? You're the famous pirate Captain Garfield. <laughs> um, hi. He doesn't know who I am? I envy the man. Oh, where are my manners? I am Sir Arbuckle III. Please make yourself at home. <laughs> Care for some oysters? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you might want to check the expiration date on the shells there. Well, there's nothing else to eat around here. <sighs> oh! Before my boat sank, I was on my way to track down a mythical treasure. The Horn of Plenty. What? Ancient lore has it that whosoever owns it can conjure up any food he ever craves. Wow. I wouldn't have to move a finger to get fed. Pirating is way too much work if ye ask me. I would most certainly be knighted by the Queen if I brought her back such a wondrous present. I, I must, must get, get that, that horn, horn of plenty. plenty. <laughs> Easy, lads. Sadly, I only have one third of the map. Hmm. It says here that one of the missing parts is hidden on Glue Glue Island. Oh. But in order to get there, we'd have to find a way off this island. How? There's nothing here except that silly tree and that wooden bucket. <laughs> it 
That's a rubber tree. Huh? Rubber. That's the stuff they'll be using to make balloons for birthday parties in a few hundred years. The wily pirate took the sap of the rubber tree and, employing a hollow branch, blew a large sack. He then filled it with hot air from a small fire that Sir Arbuckle had built for warmth. <laughs> what neither Commodore Nervo nor Sir Arbuckle knew was that hot air weighs less than cool air. That causes the hot air to rise. <gasps> the wind is blowing us due north. Which means we're heading towards Aruba Island. Aruba Island? The Pirate Haven? What do you want to go there for? Tis a neutral ground and the nearest port where Makuku can smuggle such a large amount of canned lasagna. I'll reclaim me jolly boat and me hearties, and then we can go treasure hunting. Here, uh, let me speed up our voyage a bit. Turns of the hourglass later, our merry band of buccaneers landed gracefully on Aruba Island. Oh. Uh, um, all right, perhaps not so gracefully. W welcome to Aruba Island. Hold on a grain of sand. You're still a wanted criminal, you wretched freebooter. I wouldn't do that if I were ye, me bucko. No one's allowed to draw weapons on Aruba Island. <laughs> Is this place really full of pirates? <laughs> Just listen. Hear those eyes? Guess so. Hmm. Pirate Mart, Four Star Pirate Hotel, Pirate Fashion? Well, the place has gone a tad commercial since me last visit. I have everything you need. And all guaranteed, I've been selling them for years. Pirate souvenirs. Do not listen to that man. He just sells junk to every passing punk. My wares will be cheers, pirate souvenirs. If you're looking for a real good deal, what I have here is a steal. Stay away from him, he charges more. I have bargains you've adored. So time to make a great selection. As our time of closing nears, let me be your new connection for pirate souvenirs. So time to make a great selection. As our time of closing nears, let me be your new connection for pirate souvenirs. Sell Commodore Nermo plush toys. I am so way cuter than that bloke. Hey, get your own show and we'll see about it. It'll be three doubloons <laughs> for the toys, sir. Oh, I'm afraid I don't have any money. I just spent the last 12 months stranded on a desert island. Yeah, yeah, I hear that one every day. Oh, how about I trade it for some oysters? No! <laughs> <laughs> Behold, Vito's in. Best all-ye-can-eat pizza in the whole Caribbean. And I'll bet ye a plate of freshly baked lasagna, that's where we'll find that scurvy parrot. Psst, Commodore Nomo. Yeah, I'll be back in a jiffy, lads. What are your orders, sir? Let's just wait for these two fools. When they least expect it, we'll arrest them. And the treasure map shall be mine. By Jove, an actual pirate hangout. Hi, and there's that mangy parrot. Mm, canned lasagna in my restaurant? Uh, I don't know. Don't know? Me know me, bucko. I have cases of it to sell you. And at 50,000 doubloons, 
It's really a bargain. Oh, and hey, I'll tell you what. Act now, and I'll throw in those prisoners as a bonus. I could do with some cheap labor in the kitchen. <laughs> Fine, we have a deal. Not so fast, oh. McCuckoo. We knew ye'd come to rescue us. Makuku, I challenge ye to a pirate showdown. <laughs> Whoever eats more pizza wins the showdown. If I win, I leave with me hearties, the cat -o nine tails, and the whole swag of lasagna. And what's in it for me? If I lose, ye keep everything, and I'll be your personal slave forever. Now you're talking. I accept the pirate showdown. Prepare for a most humiliating defeat. A bird's appetite doesn't stand a chance against me legendary gut. Who said I was the one doing all the eating? Under the rules of the pirate showdown, a bloke can appoint a designated eater in his place. So? So, I appoint him. I... Within moments, the wager was on. The two pirates would face each other on the twin fields of honor and mozzarella. Speed up! Bring forth the flat bridge. Parmigiano with anchovy topping as per your request. Anchovy? But I, I hate anchovy on pizza. Oh, you do? <laughs> Sorry, uh, must have slipped me mind. Uh, I'll skewer your gizzard, you slovenly swab! <laughs> oh! Bad. Mm. Mm. <laughs> By the way, folks, this episode is a work of fiction. I really still do hate anchovies on my pizza. If Captain Garfield can finish this pizza, he wins! I'm glad to see you too, ye scurvy sea dog. Hand me the keys to me boat, Makuku. You may have won this battle, Captain Garfield, but as we say, it ain't over till the fat pirate sings. <laughs> now reunited with his crew, Captain Garfield and his mates adjourned to the pier where ships were moored. <laughs> Where on earth did that limey parrot anchor the cat of nine tails? I can't see it anywhere here. Oh, wait. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Miss Ship, everyone aboard. The first person who puts a foot on my boat loses that foot. Oh, by the way. Arr! Ye boat, 
It's me boat. Not anymore, what? it isn't. Who is this mysterious woman? And why is Captain Garfield's ship now hers? to join us in our quest for the Horn of Plenty. Maybe it's in our best interest to work together. And where shall we look for the missing part of that map of yours? Glue Glue Island. Give my oh, oh, back! Oh, 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 the two parts of the treasure map first? Oh. You should never trust a parent's word! <laughs> <laughs> seen fish run like that since I went to that all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. What on earth could possibly make such an abominable sound? <laughs> huh? Oh, that would be us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for scaring those sharks away, fair ladies. Fair? Oh, please. They're just big sardines with way too much makeup. You're welcome. We weren't gonna let those mean bad sharks devour such a handsome lad. Were we, girls? No, we weren't. <laughs> 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 Pardon me, but we have bigger fish to fry. Uh, no offense. None taken. Oh, you have amazing vocal talents. Thank you. Of course, we could show you if you'd like. Wow! Oh, no thanks. <laughs> We're good. When you're a mermaid, you spend your days hanging around all the beaches and bays. The land's inviting, seems so exciting. But still, we have to stay here by the water where we sing this phrase. your rowing boat. <laughs> Soon, the mermaids were taking their new friends back to their ship. Floor it, sea witches. We don't have all day. We're doing the best we can. Thanks, ladies. You're more than welcome, Sir Arbuckle. Come visit us again. We know lots more songs. I'll bet <laughs> you do. So long. <laughs> now that Makuku and Nermal have two thirds of the treasure map, we might as well call it quits. 
Despair okay. not, me buckos, for I had time to decipher a note scribbled on the back of the second part, right before tossing it over to our enemies. You did. Huh? It said that the third and final piece of the map was stolen by Purple Beard. <laughs> oh, you've heard of him? Every scallywag knows of Purple Beard, the most feared pirate in all of the Caribbean. Twice. No one had seen him in years. He made the front page news of Pirate Monthly, Purple Beard's puzzling disappearance. His ship. The purple turtle went missing while sailing north of Tarantula Island. <laughs> and I'll bet our entire loot of lasagna, that's where we'll find that worm-riddled parrot and his treacherous furry partner. Yo, ho, ho, me hearties! Follow the banner up the high mast. We're setting sail for Tarantula Island. <laughs> I can see Tarantula Island. Soon the last part of the treasure map shall be mine. Uh, ours? We're in this together, remember? Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Once we find the Horn of Plenty, uh, I shall rule over the Seven Seas, and I uh, shall not now! You're interrupting my villainous monologue, fat pirate! Uh, now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Once the Horn of Plenty is finally moved... Uh, what is it? I apologize, Liverpool Liz. I don't know what came over me. Those mermaids must have had me under a magic spell. A magic spell? Please. That's the lamest excuse if there ever was one. Oh, please, forgive me? Never. I won't listen to any more of your lies. I'd rather be eaten alive by a giant whale. Is everyone all right? Where are we? Why is it so dark? Oh, shiver me timbers! We're... we're... In deep trouble? Wait, huh? where's Captain Garfield? Captain Garfield! He's gotta be in here someplace. He got swallowed up like the rest of us. No! Hey, isn't that him over there? Oh. I think that is him, but he looks. I can't be. <laughs> It is Captain Garfield. He can't be. Buck up, men. The captain would have wanted us to be strong. Can a guy take a nap inside a whale without everybody jumping to conclusions? Our captain's alive! Yo ho! Yo ho! Well, let's set to it. Where's me ship? Where be the cat o nine tails? Uh, I'm afraid this is it, Captain. Oh. Ah, so glad you finally made it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<gasps> Makuku, out of all the giant whales in the ocean, where did ye have to pick this one? Tis no time for bickering, me bucko. I suggest we call a temporary truce till we get out of here alive. We're doomed! We'll never get out of here! And worst of all, the world shall no longer be graced by my breathtaking beauty. <gasps> hey, have we met somewhere before? Your face seems familiar. Commodore Normal acts like he knows you. Well, he must have me confused with someone else. Huh? Tis sailcloth. It's from the Purple Turtle, Purple Beard's vessel. <gasps> Twill must have swallowed Purple Beard too. Odie, can you find him for us? <laughs> you already have? Uh -huh. Then take me to him. The brave dog led the others deeper into that whale's gut. And more importantly, they found what must have been the purple beard. Oh. Part of him, anyway. He lost weight. And beard. But you know what he does have? The last piece of the map! Ah, the map! I'll be holding on to that, Makuku. <laughs> sure, mate. Of course you will. So, now we have the map to the Horn of Plenty. Ah, uh, a lot of good it'll do us stuck in here till we all look like purple beard. There must be some kind of way out of here. It was the time of defeat. It was the time of despair. It was the time in one of these stories when someone says, it's a crazy idea, but it just might work. Uh, it's a crazy idea, but it just might work. Commodore Nermo, I'll need your candlestick. What? Everyone, take cover or something. Sir Arbuckle, if we don't get out of here, I... I forgive you about that whole mermaid incident. I, I don't exactly deserve a gold star for best behavior. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm not really who I said I was. Well then, who are you? I'm really... Indeed, it looked as if Captain Garfield and his band of merry scallywags were back in action. But what terrible ordeals awaited them on their quest to find the Horn of Plenty? I'm glad you agreed to join us in our quest for the Horn of Plenty. Maybe it's in our best interest to work together. A Bermuda Triangle! Ah! Are you sure? Positive me, bucko. According to this map, that's where we'll find the Horn of Plenty. Every scallywag knows better than setting sail for this cursed triangle. No one who ever set sail for the Bermuda Triangle ever returned to tell their tale. 
I'm not going. Arr, same here, matey. I'm with ye guys. I quit. Then away with ye, ye mutinous swabs. <sighs> Ah, <laughs> oh, good riddance. This raft was getting way too crowded, if you ask me. Bermuda Triangle, 30 leagues ahead. Keep right. Take exit for me. Ah, start paddling! <laughs> Just in time for me morning nap. <laughs> oh. Liz, you were about to tell me something right before we escaped from that giant whale? Was I? I can't seem to recall. Uh. Or maybe quitting wasn't such a great idea. Yeah, I'd be thinking the same thing. Lads, look, sail ho! Over here! Over hey, here! Hey, help us! Help us. Hey. Meanwhile, our fearless freebooters had almost reached their final destination. The Bermuda Triangle, an ill-fared stretch of the North Atlantic Ocean, where countless sailors mysteriously vanished over the years, never to be seen again. As Captain Garfield and his friends discovered, it was a spooky place. No wonder all these ships lost their way. Look at all this fog! The hardies were right. Ah, this place is curved. Look, over there. It's the Bermuda Triangle. That's the actual Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Maybe it's here for a reason. Mm. Ah! The Horn of Plenty. And it's mine! Oh, mine! Ah! Come back here, ye treasure thieving feathered rat! We must stop him before he gets to the Horn of Plenty! Sightseeing later. This way. Ah the horn of plenty is finally mine. <laughs> oh, wait, where's Captain Garfield? Coming. Oh. Mm. They get it come with an instruction manual. Oh well, <laughs> let's see. <clears throat> I want an apple. <laughs> Impressive. Hmm. I'm gonna get a lot of moolah out of this thing. Watermelon. Huh? <laughs> Bigger watermelon. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble now. Ten more watermelons. Side of beef, two hams, steak sandwich, cling peaches in heavy sauce, kinoki in bolognese. One for dessert, custard pie. <laughs> hey, that be rightfully mine. Fork it over. Fourteen course dinner with all the trimming. I have it. I have the horn of plenty. I. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. 
Isn't Captain Garfield? Me, Captain. <laughs> Give me the horn now. Oh, don't you dare touch her. Watermelon. Whoa! Take them to the Beauty Queen. Handsomely. <laughs> Any last wish before I feed you to the fish? I would like to horn of plenty to feed me till I'm full. Can't wait that long. Once I'm finally rid of ye, I shall return to England with the horn of plenty. Verily, I shall become the most famous kitten that ever walked the earth. In fact, I shall replace the queen herself. Who needs her when they can have Nermal the Plentiful? Liz, while we're still on this side of the dirt, Let's I not wanted to do tell you that. Last minute confessions um, just yet, there. Majesty's private fleet? B -b -b but how? A queen must be here in the Caribbean. Oh, she's huh? way closer than you think. Uh, but uh, you're. Uh, you're really the. Uh, her royal. Well, is she behind me? Be. Well, sink me. If Liz is the Queen of England, I'm the <laughs> Queen of. I, <laughs> oh, never mind. It was true. The resemblance between the woman before him and the woman on the money proved it was she. When my royal lasagna went missing, I decided to go undercover and infiltrate the pirating world myself. <laughs> my royal navy fleet was never far behind. What? I kept them informed of our whereabouts through daily <laughs> bottled messages. I thought pirates were all heartless, treacherous scoundrels. I was wrong. There's also courage, selflessness, and friendship in your world. Thanks for making me a part of it, if but for only a little while. <laughs> and for as long as its wondrous powers endure, this magical artifact shall be used to feed the hungry. That would be us. <laughs> Majesty, I can explain everything. As for Commodore Nermo, such treason and insufferable arrogance deserves a special punishment. Unfortunately, nothing pops to mind right this very minute. I want some Mr. Smokes, Mr. Smokes. Oh! Ah! Somebody let me out of here! A really famous man! And so it was that the insufferable Commodore was shipped far, far away to a place the locals called Abu Dhabi. Gee, I wonder whose idea that was. Makuku and his pirate were sentenced to a long, long time in a room with bars. Oh, oh. Gee, it's great to be locked up with a brilliant conversationalist. But because of their heroism, Captain Garfield and his canine companion received a royal pardon for all <laughs> acts of piracy. They were thus present when Sir Arbuckle and the Queen were wed. Do you, Your Majesty, take this man as your king? I do. And do you, Sir Arbuckle, take this woman as your queen? I do. I now pronounce you a royal wedding. <laughs> Doesn't the bride look beautiful? All brides look beautiful. She'd be better looking with the tail. True. And they live happily ever after. 
I'm sorry. Oh, I'll just cry at weddings. <laughs> As for Captain Garfield and Odie, they renounce their pirating ways to become the royal pampered pets and... Never mind us. This whole thing needs a closing song. Ladies, will you favor us? We, we thought you'd never, never ask. And so it seems that life is grand and they will in another land. And Godfield has promised Liz to get out of the pirate biz. The queen has found the perfect mate and it was truly worth the wait. So join us now and we will celebrate. He once thought would give him a life that's very good But being wet to her instead will be all that the poet said Patrick, he once thought would give him a life that's very good But being wet to her instead would be all that the poet said Would be all that the poet said Would be all that the poet said Hmm, I love weddings Especially when they're catered by the Horn of Plenty mm, Chicken chow mein mm. Pizza lunch, always. Mm, the meatball sandwich. Mm, let me have a couple more tacos. Mm, I like the noodles. I like the